We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Minnesota Twins and the Seattle Mariners. Mariners baseball starts right now. Yusei Kikuchi, the Japanese left-hander, is tasked with the starting job. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. Now at the plate, Eddie James. Cool. First shot for him the here as he comes in currently Eddie. leading the junior circuit Eddie. in hitting there's a lot of ways to get on base. Base hit, a walk, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. And the right fielder is there to make the catch and the inning. Striding into the box, Eddie James. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. The short hit hard. Crawford gloves it. Run it out, run it out, run and it out. Very He's quickly out. there, they're two gone to start the inning. Bases are empty now here with two men out. Number 28. This is skied into short left center. James is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Digging in, Eddie James, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Eddie James. First pitch of the at bat. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Over the bullpen and gone. A solo shot here to left, so his remarkable season continues as the Twins have made it a three-to-nothing ball game. One more time, he gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. Polanco ranging into the outfield. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the... So coming to the plate, now Eddie back. James, left as field. the switch hitter will take Eddie. his cuts left-handed here. Yeah, and that last at-bat, Batty, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Giving Chase his Henniger. He gets there, and that's the second out. At the plate, Eddie James. Oh, he flew out building. in his last ad oh, now, Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his yeah. last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Hey, one time, right now. now we go. The next twin up, Mitch Garver. He's two for three Garver. thus far. Pulled high in the air get out off, to left off, field. Keep it Thompson Williams is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Here's Miguel Sano struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 Miguel. ball game right here. Now a move over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Runners going. Pitch outside. The throw. But he gets back in time. Safe at second base. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw. 
Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you could coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. The Minnesota Twins pick up win number 70 to top the division. Jake Odorizzi earned his ninth win of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious twins. Six runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 18 runners on base. We are under the lights this evening as we and get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Seattle Mariners. Major League Baseball on the Show starts now. Nick Margavichus, an Ohio-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Stepping up now, Eddie James. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Come on, come on, come Relay on, come to on, first on, in time, and just like that. The... Right Striding in, Eddie James. He's, He's 0 for 1 thus far. Eddie. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Moore is there. One out. Stepping in and ready for now another back. shot, Let's Eddie James. He Eddie. flew out in his last at-bat. Yeah. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about to double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thompson Williams is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So two are gone in the Twins half of the fifth and that'll bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. Kepler. This is hit high in the air out toward left round center. Round it hard, round it hard. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. Twin strand a pair. We've hit the halfway point tied at two. Digging in now, now Eddie Matt. James. Left. He singled his last Eddie. time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's Eddie. off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. A solo shot down the line in right. So his remarkable season continues, and it's now 7-4. That's dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. Yeah, Matty B, this has always been. Coming to the plate now, Tim Lopes. over for three with a couple of strikeouts Second for him to this point in the ballgame. Yeah. Marte leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that in one left for C. 
Next for Seattle, Brian O'Keefe trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. It's the Mariners eight and the Twins seven. At the plate, Eddie James. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a swing and a miss and a slider for a strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. A swing and a ground ball to third. Go hard, go hard, go hard. Throw on to first, he'll get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. And that was a no doubles defense in action right there, and it paid off big time. That ball was scorched. But the... Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the Our next one. A one run finish, an First eight to seven Victoria game Seattle tonight. Mayor. The Mariners cross the plate yet. three times Nowhere. in the eighth, they helping propel them to the win. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Seattle Mariners. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Justin Dunn, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. So digging in now, Eddie James comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's hi, best hitters for right average now. coming into this year keep it going he pulls this one high and deep to right center field center fielder looking up to the track to the wall and this ball is gone no chance to make a play on that one So it's a two-run shot to right center, number 148 for his career, as the Twins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Next will be the designated hitter, batting Jose Marmolejos. And he's got hitter. that batting lineup near okay. the 300 mark entering play. The 1-1 home goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. James is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Twins, too, and the Mariners not. Now at the plate, Eddie James. He hit a two-run jack Eddie. in his first at-bat. The last at-bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a hey, fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time. A swing and a high drive to right center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Career homer number 149. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. 
So that was the third home run for these guys today. d Row, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody. Stepping in, Ty France. Up next for Seattle, the second baseman, Todd France. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Mariners leave one. They still trail here at 6-2. to two. Digging in now for the Mariners, the Dom Thompson-Williams. Dom Thompson-Williams. Now it's driven the other way with some authority, headed toward the foul pole. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went. And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mariner organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jose. Lifted the other way out to left center. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that is forced to... Eddie James will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the high and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed so a two run homer down the line in right field giving him an even 150 as it's now a six run ball game well talk about having a day Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in baseball. Ready once again, Mitch the Henniger. The right field. Three runs, four Three. hits, and no errors Henniger. in the game for the Mariners to this point. Fly ball to straightaway left. James is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Eddie James will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. The 0-1 on its way. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Fouled away. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Right now, huh? The 0 2 once more. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Fraley has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire. Into the box, Tim Lopes, a now hit in two tries so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Settling in now, Up Eddie James, Minnesota. and he's shooting for history here as he's Eddie. homered three times James. in this one. 
One pitch only here. here First we go. delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Crawford is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? 12-3 to three is the way this one ends. The Twins jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kenta Maeda gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Justin Dunn permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 33 minutes. Thank you.